What's up, everybody? Noah is back here for my review of Little Shop of Horrors. This is a movie that I have not seen. Uh, I performed a song in choir for it a couple years back uh, when I was still, still in school. It was my senior year, and we did a uh, Broadway tour. We did Broadway songs with the actual Broadway music, and one of them was Little Shop of Horrors. So Little Shop of Horrors is all about... Rick Moranis, uh, who has who has this uh, this plant, and this plant gets a thirst for human blood, for meat, and the only way to actually calm it down is to feed it. And this thing is called Audrey Two. Along the way, Seymour ends up meeting the love of his life. And this movie is one that's very interesting. Because it's one that you would think would not really be up my alley. I'm not into horror like a lot of other people are. Now this is a movie that I've been wanting to see for a long, long time only because of Rick Moranis. And it's a musical. Musicals are right up my alley. That's why right after I got I got done watching this, I watched Sweeney Todd and the Demon Barber of... Uh, uh, yeah. Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, right afterwards, because I, I haven't seen that in a couple of years, and I wanted to give it another rewatch. Still love the movie. So, <clears throat> Seymour meets Audrey, played by Ellen Green. And Ellen Green is in a relationship with a abusive dentist, played by Steve Martin. In here, we also have John Candy, Jim Belushi, Rick Moranis, and the great and classic Bill Murray. Bill Murray and Steve Martin have a fantastic, fantastic, hilarious scene in this movie that I was gut-bustingly laughing at. John Candy is wink, spot on, love his performance in here. I wish we got more of it, uh, but this is a movie pretty much about this plant. This man-eating plant who demands to be fed, but also it's it's about the nerdy florist who has a chance to find success and love, but he has to go up against a evil uh, dentist played by Steve Martin and a evil man-eating plant that is his own. This is a very interesting film. It's very funny. The music is spot on. All the all the performances. You could tell everyone is having one hundred percent the time of their lives making this movie. And I can definitely say that I will definitely be buying this Blu-ray very, very soon. Little Shop of Horrors is going to get an A from me. Loved this movie to death. If you are a classic movie lover, definitely check out the 1960 comedy movie, The Little Shop of Horrors, which I watched right before this one. Uh, because I, I, I figured you want to know what? I've never seen it. It's only an hour and 12 minutes, too, so it's ridiculously short. Do what I did. Do a double feature, and you can actually catch the differences. I'm not going to, to to go into those because I'm pretty sure there's lots of videos on YouTube for that. But Little Shop of Horrors is a fantastic 1986 musical starring Rick Moranis, the great Rick Moranis. I'm hoping we get a comeback very, very soon. Uh, I know he's coming back to do Honey, I Shrunk the Kids or something like that. But there you go, everybody. There's my review of Little Shop of Horrors, and I will see all of you guys next time for my review of Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, as well as a bunch more stuff. So I will see all of you guys next time.